Tips for hatching ship chicken eggs with detached air cells. How's it going folks in YouTube land? Um, today I'm going to give you some tips on how to uh, deal with eggs that have been shipped in the mail. Um, a lot of times when you receive your eggs, they'll look normal. They won't be broken or cracked. However, internally they're damaged pretty well. Um, inside of an egg on the large end, this is the end they break out of, there's an air cell, there's a membrane in there. And when the egg is first hatched, that membrane is relatively small, but it's right at the top, okay? As an egg gets older, the membrane gets bigger. Uh, and during development, during incubation, as a matter of fact, you know, it's way down into here because it just dries out and it recedes, leaves a nice big air pocket for the chick. You see these um, eggs, they actually, they're breathable. There's permeable holes in the construction of the egg so it can take air in through the shell. Uh, also bacteria and other things. A little bit off subject, but uh, if your egg is old, like over seven or eight days, you'll see that your air cell is nice and big. So when you first get your eggs after they've been shipped, what you wanna do is you wanna candle them and first of all, see if uh, you have an intact air cell. But you wanna stabilize your eggs for a couple things. Put them on the pointy end and get them sitting like this. And we're gonna basically get them acclimated to a uh, current room temperature, right? Um, we don't want to go from transporting in a cold outside area right into a hot incubator because it can shock them. It can kill the embryo just from heat shock. So what we want to do is stabilize the egg. We want it to sit vertical in a, some type of egg tray for at least 12 hours, up to 24 hours. 24 hours is a good safe medium. And then you want to candle your eggs. You want to look and make sure you've got an intact air cell because if you don't you have to do them differently if your air cells are intact you can put them in an egg turner you can lay them down and you can roll them three times a day you can just raise them normally however if your air cells are not intact you see i just had um, 22 rhode island red eggs from uh Angela Krebs, who's got some amazing genetics for true Rhode Island Reds, not production Reds, but true Rhode Island Reds. And she'll tell you up front that there's a lot of risk involved and the hatch rates are low, but she will sell you this beautiful genetics for three bucks an egg. However, you're at risk of what happened to me. They came, they were all beautiful looking eggs. However, I had air cells that looked like this on almost all but four. I had air cells that looked like this. They were a saddle, you know, they were down on both sides where the air cell was completely detached on both sides. Now, I'd lost some eggs right off the bat. Um, they had blood rings, they started to develop. Some never developed, they were just yokers. And, and I'll show you how I dealt with this and uh, I've got some that are about ready to hatch. We're on day uh, 19. So we've got one more day and they should start pipping. And then one more day from that, they should be hatching. All right. So first things first is that all of the eggs, they are vertical, okay? And you still turn your eggs with the broken air cell. But what we're trying to do is dry out that top area and make a new air cell, okay? Because all this stuff's gonna recede as the egg starts to get absorbed and turned into a, a chick. But what we wanna do is make sure that we don't disrupt it to the point where it can't form a new air cell. So we're gonna try to create a new air cell by keeping the eggs vertical. And when you turn your eggs, you know, you turn them at slight angles from side to side, you'll swap your eggs. So basically, I'll have them out and then I'll swap them and put them in, and then I'll rotate them just a little bit, really slowly, okay? Real gently, you're never gonna turn fast and move fast, and you never wanna go, you know, much of an angle at all. So we don't wanna, you know, shift our eggs like this. So this would be like a, a good angle, 
and then I would switch the angle on the other side like so and then I would rotate it really slowly like this okay and then when you get to your last six days don't move your eggs at all okay don't rotate your eggs at all also maintain your uh, temperatures properly like you should but keep your humidity around 50 percent okay and then when you see it pip go ahead and raise your humidity up high as you can the idea is we want to get the egg the chick inside to break through the membrane inside and be able to have a place to breathe and not drown because our air cells broken right so with them being vertical they're going to come out of the big end of the egg and rhode island red eggs they're kind of hard to tell which is the pointed end sometimes however they're all with the fat end up and they're all ready to pip and come out so as soon as i see the first one crack an egg i'm going to fill all of these cells in my hovabator with water and try to bring my humidity up nice and high a couple other tips inside if you put just a couple of water bottles they act like little radiant heaters they will hold heat inside these bottles so that when you close your lid after rotating it brings the temperature back up more quickly because these are like radiant heat so i will show you what my hatch rate is i candled all these eggs on day 18 and all of these eggs here except this one this was a, a regular kitchen egg um, all of these eggs here i have live chicks moving inside right now ready to be hatched so of 22 this is what i have left i guess that's 12 14. So we'll see how many actually will survive and all but these four here had broken cells and i've been you know raising these the same as the rest they seem to be fine vertically so that's it guys uh, if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section if you haven't subscribed to my channel please take a second and do that that helps us out a lot uh, i like making these videos and it does take a lot of time to do it and by subscribing that gives a little bit back to support our channel so like subscribe and share and guys i hope you all have a great day and we're getting excited about these uh, chickens and we hope we uh, have a good hatch rate with what's left and you guys have a great day thanks for watching